Hi everyone, thanks a lot for watching this short video. In this short video, we will be demonstrating to you how the end user experience is gonna look like when they're accessing AWS console via Cybrac identity and how secure web session can help you to record each and every user's activity being performed on the AWS console. So to set up, so what I did, I set up a uh, SAML trust between my AWS account uh, and the Cybrac identity. After that, I did a very simple step to enable AWS. You just have to enable this particular setting. Once it is done, so as a user, I'll go to the user portal. As a user, I have access to like three different AWS application. For today's demonstration, we will be focusing upon this particular application. So where we will be accessing AWS console. So one small thing you will be able to notice is there is a blue color icon. This icon indicate SWS or a secure web session has been enabled. So as a user, I will click on this particular application and you will be able to see behind the scenes, it is going to perform a certain security checks and so for this particular SWS session or for this particular AWS console, access step recording and session protection has been enabled. For a user standpoint, user has to accept it that their entire session is gonna be recorded and monitored. I will simply click on a continue button. So once I click on a continue button, you are able to see I'm accessing AWS management console. Again, it is a federated access. So for this particular user, I have given a S3 full access permissions. I'll go to S3 service. In the S3 service, let's create a new bucket. So I'll name it as a Raj SWS S3 bucket. So we will host it in the US East to region, and then we will keep all the settings as default. So now we have created a bucket. So bucket has been created. Let's go to this particular bucket, Rajas WS S3 bucket. Let's upload some of the objects here. So I'm uploading some of the screenshots what I took, and let's upload one more screenshot. So now the screenshots uh, has been uploaded. Okay, now the upload has been completed. I'll go to the configuration. Somehow I cannot access the configuration. I think I have to troubleshoot it uh, later on. So anyhow, let's go to the S3 bucket again. Let's perform a couple of other actions. So I'll go to the auto uh, boarding uh, S3 bucket. So here you are able to see different, different objects. So let's try to access a Jenkins file, for example. So let's download this Jenkins files. Okay, Jenkins file has been uh, downloaded. So let's go to the permission. Let's try to change something here. Let's remove the object ACL. So let me click on save change. So looks like, okay, I have to accept it and then let me change it, okay. So we have done some changes. So I'll go back and let's enable the bucket versioning. Okay, bucket versioning has been enabled. So that's pretty much uh, in terms of the user access to the AWS console, I'll sign out and so now let's go to the Cybrac SWS session. So now here I'm on the SWS session. So let me uh, click on this particular option to take me back to the SWS. So here in the application policy, you are able to see there are two different policies. 
Amazon Web Service. So this is the application what we were accessing. So SWS has been on, not already enabled. And I have configured one more application called Salesforce Prod here. So let's look at the things, how the, how the things are gonna look like from an auditor standpoint, what all information auditor can see. So to access the session recording, so I have to authenticate using the CyberArk mobile app. So let me authenticate. So once we are able to authenticate, so here we can see around four minutes ago, the, the session was started. And this was the user admin underscore richmeach.gov. So let's click on this particular recording. So, so we are able to see, hey, first we nav navigated to the US East 2 region. And then after that, we clicked on the S3 bucket. We were, we were accessing S3 service. And then, so here you are able to see, we were trying to create a bucket. So you will be able to see the, uh, the circle here. So what exactly user was accessing. And then we, we were clicking on a uh, bucket name and we named this particular bucket as a Raj SWS S3 bucket here. So you will be able to find out all this information in a very easy manner from an auditor standpoint. And then if I click on add file, for example, so you are able to see user was clicking specifically this particular tab. And then user was adding a file. And so once user was clicking on upload, so you are able to see, I, if you remember, I uploaded two different screenshots from my desktop. After that, uh, we went to the auto, auto boarding, uh, S3 bucket, and then we were clicking on a Jenkins file or one of the object sitting in the S3 bucket. And then we were we downloaded the object and then we were trying to change the permissions as well for this specific object here. So all this information from an auditor standpoint, it's gonna be very easy. They will be able to, uh, they will be able to see, hey, what all actions uh, users perform on the AWS console. Again, AWS console is just one of the example from cyber SWS standpoint, it doesn't matter to us like whatever application you're using, as long as those application can be onboarded onto the cyber identity, we will be able to provide you the detailed audit information. So that's pretty much everyone for, for this short video. So thanks a lot for watching this and uh, stay safe and talk to you guys next time.